Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's all in Yorkshire. So I'm just in Southport and we've got a bit of a sad story today. Uh, you're probably wondering, well you're probably not wondering actually, why I've got some roses. Um, basically, for anyone who don't know, and I think most people will know, because it's been all over mainstream media, but on the morning of the 29th of July, a mass stabbing occurred during a children's event in a dance school in Southport. Uh, three children were killed and ten other people, um, eight of whom were children, were also injured. The uh, police arrested a 17-year-old male at the scene, a motive for the attack. It's apparently not been identified, although police stated they are not currently treating the attackers terrorist related uh, so basically uh, Merseyside police re responded to reports of multiple stabbings of children's Taylor Swift theme yoga and dance workshop at the Heart Space, a dance school on Heart Street in Southport the workshop was fully booked with 25 children attending, a knife was seized and a male was arrested at the scene by armed police and taken into custody uh, 13 units from the North West Ambulance Service attended, including their hazardous area response team and medical emergency response incident teams and doctors. And a helicopter from North West Air Ambulance and Great North Air Ambulance Services also responded. Merseyside Police imposed an emergency restriction of flying to stop aircraft, including helicopters and drones, from flying in the area without permission. Now, two girls aged six and seven died at the scene. 11 people, including 9 children, were treated. Uh, casualties were taken to Alder Hay Children's Hospital, which declared a major incident, as well as Aintree University Hospital in Southport and Formby District General Hospital and Royal Manchester Children's Hospital. Uh, 7 people, 5 children, 2 adults are in a critical condition. The third girl, aged 9, died in hospital the day after the incident. So there's three girls what have died. One six, one seven, one nine. Three children, three roses. Come to pay my respects. I'm not here as an auditor today. The only reason I'm filming is because I want people to know about this. Um, further spread the message. I want people to see all of these great people of the community coming forward bringing flowers, etc, etc. Uh, the woman, where I bought these from, said, somebody went in yesterday, three and a half hour drive from Leicester, paid 500 pounds. They've, they've been flooded with people from all over the country, buying flowers and going to pay for respects. It's, it's nice that the British citizens can come together at a heartbreaking time like this. Um, I am actually going to cover the aftermath of the riots, uh, the, it's going to be in this video. Um, so we're going to go lay these flowers and then we're going to go to another location where the riots occurred, see what it looks like because honestly I saw it on YouTube and it looked like World War 3. Uh, I'm not going to speculate on the incident. Um, it's for police to deal with, to investigate, to potentially prosecute any any offenders or anything like that. But right now, at this moment in time, although I'm here to cover the aftermath of the riots, I'm not here as a YouTuber, I'm not here as a, as a as an auditor, I'm here as a father. I've got children myself, the youngest being three. I've got a six-year-old, eight and nine-year-old and um, a 16 year old and this could happen to any one of us guys and girls but I'll bring it back to you in a minute right guys I'm going to put a picture on the screen now so starting left to right we've got a Lisa uh, sorry Alice age 9 um, forgive me if I say um, if I pronounce her, her name wrong in the middle uh, Bebe um, Please forgive me if I've not pronounced that correctly. And then to the right, we've got seven-year-old Elsa. So nine, 
on the left, six in the middle, seven on the right. Absolutely crazy. If anyone asks me not to film, um, I'm not going to film. I just, I'm, I'm going to stop talking because I just want people to see this tribute. Sorry, darling. Liverpool FC, you'll never walk alone. It was, um, wow, blooms, flowers, teddies. Ruffalo. Sky from Paw Patrol. Seeing all this makes me wanna literally burst out in tears. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I was just admiring the uh, the rest of them and stuff, oh, but, um, yeah. Can, may, may I ask it, who, may I ask, may, may I ask who you're representing? It says, uh, so, response we're, team. we're a rapid response team and we're funded by the Billy Graham organisation, but we work with local churches just oh, to yeah. do chaplaincy on site wherever there's an emergency. Oh, yeah. So we've responded to things like the Manchester bombing, to incidents in London, We've been to Grenfell to support with community coordination, yeah. and referring people onto local services, but we just tend to be on site and we can just offer emergency counselling on site and then we can do referrals to the local. And you guys are uh, voluntary, are you? Yeah, we're voluntary. Oh. I, I, I actually work for Manchester City Council, oh, right. so I do it as a voluntary basis. Wherever there's an emergency, yeah. if you can get the time off work, we, we go and work for the local police ambulance. God bless you. As what's called the third sector response. Yeah. Um, so I actually come here today, you can see I've got a GoPro. Um, so I'm, I'm not here <coughs> today as a um, YouTuber, I'm not here as um, anything else what I may do on my channel. Um, I'm actually here as a father today. I've uh, got two very small children, sim similar ages. And yeah. uh, I, I just want them, I just want people to see this, you know, the, yeah. how, the, how, how the community's coming together the with the flowers and the yeah. toys and the teddy bears. Community response has been absolutely amazing. People have come together to, you know, the fire service were out doing windows on the mosque, yeah. just trying to rebuild and repair everything that's been broken. We've had volunteers, brickies, builders come out to offer. Yeah. The walls. It's I mean, been absolutely un unfortunately, amazing. I've seen I've seen the wars on on YouTube. Um, but I'm not here to speculate on that. I'm not here to, to comment. Just, yeah. I'm going to go have a look when I leave here, simply just to document it and yeah. just have a look. And um, the rest will speak for itself, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, um, 
it's beautiful because everyone wants to come and do something symbolic just to show support. Yeah, and of that's course. why this is so beautiful that of people course. just you know so. it, communities coming out just to support and that's what's needed, you know. Yeah. So I feel like my roses are gonna get lost in the crowd. <laughs> Shall we put them down? They will do, but um, they are still appreciated. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You'll put them down here? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's more than welcome. More than welcome. You know, free, free roses yeah. for Three little angels, eh? Turns out it's uh, we've got to make our move. Okay. Yeah, it's been nice talking to you, mate. Kevin, All don't right. forget you forgot what I said already, didn't you? Well, no, you it's fair. But I'm, I'm not as intelligent as you, so I can't. I can't remember. Oh, okay. What was the first one? Pain. Pain. Blame. Blame. Anger. anger. That's the one. Get rid of that. Second one. Edification, orientation, correction. Yeah, that's the one I forgot. <laughs> okay. Three I forgot. Right there, Kevin. Too long word for me, though. Um, them guys all know. Yeah, I don't want to cause anything. I've been looking on here. Oh yeah, I, yeah. Oh yeah. Rather than me stand about aimlessly looking like an idiot. What what are all these what are all these people, the cameras? Is it media? Yeah. Oh is it? Is it? And like them there's a lot of like a few vans down parked on that road. Are they media as well? Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not a cabbage, I know what's gone on, but what, what's exactly going on in this area right now? No idea. Obviously, there's a... This was where the disorder was last night. Sorry? This where the disorder was last night. Oh, well, you mean the writing? Yeah, well, just, yeah, yeah. I did see, I, I seen it, it's all over YouTube, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. It's all over the news. And news as well. Um, all right, no, well, I'm just going to have a bit of a aimless... Aimlessly walking about and uh, see what's going on. Okay. All right, but are you guys all right? Yeah, I'm yeah. Fine. You all staying safe after what's happened? Were you there? When? Uh, it, well, it all kicked off, didn't it? I know police van got set on fire and people. It wasn't here last night. Yeah, it, it, it was bad. It was bad. But, you know, we. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a good thing. Not nice to see. But anyway, stay safe and uh, right. yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, fellas. All right. So, we have confirmed this is where it all kicked off last night. Mm. 
Sussex Road. corner here and down there, down that road. Zoom cam on the so I think this is where uh, the incident was. Uh, I said riots and the copper looked a bit <coughs> as if to say it wasn't a riot, it wasn't a riot, it was an incident. So I was like, yep, incident. Um, obviously, there's some, some fire engines down there. Um, this is the street where it's, or the, the area where it's happened. The good people of Southport, uh, hiya mate, you alright? The good people of Southport have come together to clean this place up. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, like I said earlier on guys, I have it on good authority, but uh, a lot of the people who were involved in the disturbances, uh, not even from Southport, uh, Fraser, so we are here independent, but just to, uh, Double, triple clarify to anybody who uh, might be under a misapprehension. We are here, or I am here, as an independent person. Oh, no political views. What's happened, happened. It's up to the police to uh, deal with it, get to the bottom of it, to make any, any uh, necessary arrests but I'm pretty sure that will be straight and if it is it's looking a hell of a lot cleaner than it did on the YouTube video that I watched some bats of food. But um, I was speaking to uh, somebody earlier on, and I'm not going to say who it was, but um, touched on a good point. So, 
Now, it were actually him what said, the majority of people want from Southport. Now, I noticed some people, again, I'm not going to say who, in certain YouTube videos, and it's just like, how, how did they know that they were all going to kick off? Why were we in Stockport at that given, at that given time? I mean, I live literally 70 miles down the road, and I didn't know about this. Crazy. Sorry, I'm not eavesdropping, I was just wondering, same thing. Um, no. What somebody told me up there. Anything. Oh, no, thank you, mate. I'm okay, thank you, sir. No. Um, just what somebody down there said, um, reiterate really, really what you just said, basically. Uh, majority of, are you press? Yeah. Yeah, so the majority of the people who, who were writing it, this road, wasn't it? Uh, all around, and just around that Yeah, number. who were not even from Southport. So that's what I've been told as well. Yeah, it was, the majority was outsiders was people from Southport, but I think it's the yeah. young scallies with coat down and then just against the establishment type of thing. Yeah, it's it's, it's not good, is it? What do you think the what do you think their motivation was? Do you think there's genuine anger about yes. kind of what about what? I think the past few weeks with the uh, the Manchester airport attack and then the video later on came out about that, the people not being charged and riots that were not contained by police in that situation. Then the, uh, the colonel, the fellow in full military uniform being stabbed up and that being quickly swept away and said not to relate it even though it just seemed very planned, he didn't look at anyone else. And then this one seemed very planned, getting a taxi straight there, we're not told anything. The main issue is miscommunication or lack of communication, we don't know anything. We don't know his name, the race, because that's why miscommunication is going around on the internet, obviously. The police are in a rock and hard place because it's not a white fella, so if they say his name and release a picture, then the same people are going to have the same views, just to a different ethnicity or race. Or, and yeah, to be fair, though, well, a lot of the times the people are saying they should give the name, but we don't need to with his age. Yeah, so, there's bollocks. I think, bollocks, well, that is the law. I think, and I know. Can, if, it, if there's a, with regards to terrorism, we can keep someone for life, I think it's us so many days and so they're still within their parameters. Do you think it's the motivation that people are really wanting to find here? Yeah. Just so much more, like the names maybe a, a clue to what the motivation was and that's the main thing why why you why you did it. So it looks like do you think it's the motivation like people want to know why you did it Do you think people think oh I want to know the name to make a clue to why yeah, why you did it? What they knew about him, why he got his door, why, why he went directly down, what his search history and stuff was, just everything. Why do you think he had people like that? Because, as said uh, with the, I can't say each person thing, but my assumption would be MC and the riots in Leeds and then one I don't know if the other one was for the Manchester one. Yeah, no, it, was, it was a riot, was it? There was trouble, there was fighting. Yeah. And it wasn't a riot. People so. wanted leads. I feel like people feel like certain people get a different treatment to others. I'm not gonna say. I more. think I think the word you might be looking for is two tier policing. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely I, I, I know loads of people, do, do normal people that are not aggressive or into that type of thing. But they, they do say the same thing. I mean, did you look at? Did you hear about the 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 just? I mean, the police don't like calling it riots. I, I I said riot and they said disturbance. So okay, well we'll say disturbance. Did you hear about the disturbance in in Leeds aerials? Yeah, yeah. Um, where where the police um, evacuated and refused to go in. The fire service refused to go yeah. in to put fires they wait out. Wait until they get public back. But then, but that's But then with this, 
Um, they're too scared to get pulled back. With, with, yeah. with this, obviously, you've seen the video, I've seen the video, it's got nearly half a million views in, in 18 hours. Um, just type in South, Southport Riot, you'll find it. It's got nearly half a million views in 18 hours. It's crazy. Yeah. So, what time do people start coming? I don't condone here, what's happened, the violence. Well, and all that as a community, yeah. we, 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 we were always at the virtual last yeah. night. I, I, think, I think it's appalling. It was, brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, it was yeah. things, and then for people to come into our area. Yeah, it's disgusting. There's people. Yeah, yeah they're trying to organise family. Are you guys part of the community? Yeah, God, yeah. Because I've come today from Leeds. Obviously. I'm a YouTuber, um, I report on independent things. I've just been to the memorial where everyone's putting flowers down. Uh, I recorded it because I want people to see the community of Southport, how we've come together, how people have come far and wide to put flowers down and gifts. I want people to see that, but I said to the, to the audience, to the fans, to the viewers, I'm not here as a YouTuber, I'm not here as an auditor, I'm here as a father because I've got two small children, similar ages, God bless the souls. I put three roses down um, for each little girl that lost her life. And I was there as a father. And I nearly burst into tears. Oh, it's a, I mean, that's the thing. People are, the community's grieving. And you get people coming, ripping our community apart. Yeah, it's, it's like it's scandalous. It's very unfair. Yeah. Keep it, do it in different ways. Because we're always saying to think violence. Yeah. I mean, makes change. like what I'm doing now, I do this all over the country. So I go into into different communities, different races, different different ethnic backgrounds. I'm, I'm always respectful wherever I go. I'm always respectful to people unless they if they get arsy with me because I'm filming, I'll give it back. But I always try and be respectful. Um, but it's just crazy. It's like, what's happened here? I can see a wall's being built. Yeah, that's um, my nice lad. But what, I got here this morning at six that? o'clock. Um, well, that was smashed on the riot. Yeah, you know, the other night, just, just kicked it all down. So my, my lad, we was, we was cleaning all the streets this morning at six o'clock. It looks amazing. And then he's organised everything. Yeah to be all rebuilt in a day and everyone's been given all the services for each other. This is fantastic. This is a yeah. community of Southport coming and together. And it's amazing. So then for outsiders to come in yeah. and then do what they've done and then there's rumours that they're going to appear again tonight. Yeah, that's... I, I, obviously, I guess it's going to be a heavy police presence. Yeah, it seems to have... Well, I'm saying it seems, yeah, it seems to have been building up. But foreseeable, I'd say. Um, I won't be here tonight. Um, truth be told, I, I don't really like getting involved because because I go around I film the police and stuff. I'm I'm a silly auditor on YouTube. I don't like getting involved with politics and riots and, and disturbances. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather keep out of that. Yeah. And, and come like now, everyone's seen what's happened and how bad how bad this road was. Now people are going to see my video and look at the community coming together. Everyone's cleaned it up, I've building had, a new I've wall. Had the head of the mosque come over to me and he went, Colin. We want to make your son the hero tonight. He's yeah. been here since six this morning. He's all because he's bought. Is that being, boss up. being ram at the mosque? Yeah, yeah. So the, his, he phoned up his boss, and his boss said, "Don't you don't need to come in. Stay there all day and organise it for the wall to be built." So he's got staff coming in. The, the wall turned in. They've done the windows. They've done the wall. He's had organised the cement mixers. Everyone's given free of charge. Yeah. This is it. You know, for some so nice. That, for part of the community, this is part yeah, of the community. Yeah. And there's people saying that they're, they're lovely in there as well. Yeah, they, oh, they are. Yeah, they are. Lovely. They are. Um, my, my my friends actually, with permission, it's actually filmed the mosque inside him. Him, that's it. Yeah. Come in, take your shoes off. They sat and had a chat with him. Talked about the religion and culture. Very very nice people. Yeah. But but the, and again, social media doesn't help. Is that? ramming of the thing down people it's like oh the Muslim the this the that and people hear it all the time yeah. anyone that's got no intelligence you, they end up believing what they're hearing all the time you know what I mean yes we, we've got bad people you know what I mean every year there's good yeah. and bad in everyone my friends everybody that's one of the things they I mean, were look, saying look at how much media is around no, here they were saying people arrived just for this they didn't yeah. go to the vigil they didn't go to the flat I live round the yeah 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 I was there 10 minutes after it happened then well, in, in my defence, I want to hear for visual, but um, yeah, straight away, first thing I did when I got into Southport, went and found the florist, got some flowers, went and laid some flowers. Um, first thing I did, and I bet half of these people haven't even done that. 
half of those yeah, people went no. straight to the fucking bag dealer, got some sniff. Yeah, that's the one. They've come for that bird, is that it? Yeah. Useful idiots, aren't they? But, um, What's going on with his van? What's all this about? Yeah, he cracked the fucking window punch. I, I was stood at the top of the uh, hill as a fella in a mask was pointing at me, telling me to come and I'm going. Yeah. Best thing to do is, um, I'd say, don't get involved. That's There's going to be a lot of people getting lifted over the next couple of days. That's what I mean about stupid idiots. With what's happened. I saw kids with no mask on fucking throwing bricks. Yeah. Like 12 yeah. year olds, and it's like. Okay. There was a girl up there, she lives around the corner, and she seen one young lad on his own, she goes, fuck off with I'll come back and I'll sort your car. She goes, I need a new car anyway, and she just plug it off. She was in about 17, 18. Do you know what I mean? You're like... But did, did that DJ you media, did you watch his video? I watched it last night, as, as the fucking helicopter was going above. So was, he had his, took his drone up, it looked like it escaped from New York down here. It did. Have you ever seen that movie? Sent the video no. to me, it's, it's gone international. I've had people from like mainland Europe like sending me the post going. Oh, yeah, like it's, gone, it's gone viral. Uh, Videos like that go I viral. Remember, but, you know, my lads sent me one down there, and I thought, I can't believe that it's put itself up. Can you believe man? it? It was bouncing on top of the police fans with masks on the face, like <laughs> nutcases. Oh, well, I had a video go viral about a year ago. Um, if you type in Inspector Muppet on YouTube. It's got nearly 500,000 views. That, that's me getting arrested for calling the police inspector a Muppet. Really? Yeah, in it? Huddersfield. It's... Yeah, yeah, that's me, that's me. Um, <laughs> obviously, the, the video I'm doing today, you'll you'll see up on there within the next couple of days, but, um, I, I mean, I've been not a bit respectful here. But yeah, it's like I said to them, them coppers in that van over there, I said, uh, this work right happened, and he went, disturbance. Oh, is that what you call it? Uh, sorry, disturbance. It was a fucking riot. It's not that. Well, it won't, it? I, I, but it's almost a thing to uh, lower the tone of it, isn't it? So it's not as bad as an event. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Could it be old and late? Right down I was stood at uh, there's a Southport Conservative Club there with that those uh, white pillars. Yeah. I was stood there as a mother was shouting at her children, get in I've raised you better than this. And then that's when they broke into a shop there and started robbing shit. Do you know the uh, viral clip of the fella getting hit in the back of the head nuts? I seen it today. I spoke to him, he was fucking made up. Some smackhead showing him the video. Oh yeah! I'm on YouTube. <laughs> he didn't give a shit. Oh, no, no. Yeah, got a brick to the back of the head, didn't he, the poor son? It was, it was pure comedy. Back of the head and as he's walking away, doof. But I mean, that's a UB frame clip, that, isn't it? <laughs> he, he couldn't have written it better himself. No, he'd, 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 he'd have got 250 quid all day long. Right guys, so as you can see, yeah, this is the uh, mosque that okay, came under attack. Um, lovely people of uh, Southport are building, rebuilding a brick wall. Um, got LBC News down here, whoever they are. Um, walk a little bit further down here. This is where some more disturbances were going on. I think it was just this stretch of road here, so... From where that police van is up there, to where these police are down here. There's, just, there's, just, there's bottles of water chucked everywhere. It's a miracle, Everyone, uh, everyone's cars have remained safe in these driveways. Yeah, we're expecting, expecting uh, more stuff going on tonight, apparently.
yeah, we are literally stood in the middle of where, what, I don't know if it were hundreds or thousands, but it sure looked like thousands, literally in the middle of where we were all stood, jumping on police fans, chucking bricks. It's just absolutely bonkers, guys, there's no words. But yeah, look how clean the street is. The people of uh, this community have come together. I think it's amazing, amazing work. Yeah, you guys handing all um, food and drink out and stuff. Uh, that's really good of you, that. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, just YouTube, I'm just independent. I'm just independent. Hold it in Yorkshire. Yeah. I'm just independent. I just came to uh, pay my respects. Um, and uh, in truth, Look at how the uh, community has come together to making, help each other out. To, to help each other out to, to what we're doing here. I think it's incredible yeah. to how we've cleaned up. Very, nice very good. That. They have come today. Just shows that. <laughs> was it really how <laughs> people <laughs> doing that yesterday, or was it out of time? <laughs> I have it on. Um, <laughs> I've, I've been told that the majority of, of, of people what we're here. We're not even from here. Yeah, they're all Down south. Police are seeing us, Yeah. Uh, personally, I think it's terrible what's happened. But um, yeah, it's nice to see this, you know, community coming together. Not like that. <laughs> yeah, it's warm water's not very nice, is it? How long have they been uh, building wall for then? Hey? How long have they been building wall for? Um, they come this morning and, and they're just... He's been here, um, the main man started early. Uh, he's been here since six, six in the morning. What happened then? Were it the... The rioters were it the, 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 the wall? The people, what did it? Or the police vans? No, no the, the rioters. Oh. no good. Crazy. Well. Is every, every, everybody um, from the mosque? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's safe, obviously. Yeah. I know that, that he was damage, in there but... yesterday, and there wasn't that many people yesterday. Yeah. There's only four of us inside yesterday, yeah. and three um, security from home office. All oh, right, well, it's good that no one yeah. got hurt. Yes, bro.
Yeah, all right, chaps. Hello, mate, you okay? Yeah, not bad. I know. You media, mate, are you all? Eh? You media or independent? Well, or? media in my own little mind, eh? Are you? Yeah. Um, no, what can I, I do for you? Independent. What can I do for you? Um, I, I just wanted to talk to you about. Uh, I'm not going to ask you other questions because I know you can't comment. You won't answer them anyway. I'm ask you, yeah, I know. I'm just going to ask about road closures. Um, just any idea how long this road is going to be blocked off for? Are you expecting you know, more trouble to be coming? Is, uh, that, is that why they're still blocked? No, I think the reason it's blocked is for the work. Just, just what work? Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was doing it. Yeah. No, no, I'm just, I'm yeah, just an no, no, innocent little YouTuber, mate. But um, I, I, main reason. Here today, so I'll tell you guys what I've told everyone else. The main reason is, is to cover the um, the I saw obviously the video online yeah. what was going on. Uh, wanted to just cover the aftermath. I don't like being involved in in violent situations, yeah. and even if I'd have been in the area, I probably wouldn't have come and filmed it. It's way too much for me. Uh, wanted to come and look at the aftermath. I think it's amazing how communities come together yeah, and cleaned up. Is, yeah. These guys here are doing a great job. Yeah. Um, but yeah, before before I came here, um, I actually went to lay three roses right. down at the um, monument, yeah. and um, I filmed it. Uh, so it's I want, quite moving, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've, uh, of course, I yeah. filmed it. I, I want people yeah, to yeah, yeah, to see yeah. it and to see how, how pe your people are coming from far and wide. Uh, but I did tell, um, essentially, the audience, I said, look, you know, right now I'm not here as a YouTuber, I'm not here as, uh, as a vlogger or anything like that, I'm here as a father, you know, I'm here, two small kids of me Tragic, own. Tragic, isn't it? It's a... Similar kind of age. Yeah. And, um, you know, nearly 40 years old and uh, nearly, you know, very, very nearly reduced to tears, mate. It's home, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, so, it's tragic. But yeah, I'm anti-war, I don't agree with violence stuff like that um, politics don't like them you guys will do what you guys do it's not for me to say or speculate I just film what I see um, I'm just glad nobody was seriously injured you know um, but most obviously but them guys who I know were in the wrong uh, I think a fair few officers injured, won't they? Had to go to hospital. Yeah. Nothing too I don't, serious. I don't know how many, but um, I don't know how serious either. But there was, there was, yeah. Yeah. Um, 50. 50. 50 officers and yeah. four dogs. Oh god, yeah. no, that's terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I hope we all, you know, make a fully, fully recovery. Yeah. Um, I'll be, I'll be dogs. I'm not too sure. Um, just said four dogs and leg injuries. Uh, I mean, I've got a shepherd myself. Have you? And, uh, no, yeah, I went to, um, you know, Armed Forces Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pont yeah. Yeah. I went and vlogged the entire day. Um, <laughs> got quite close to summer. We were doing um, a training exercise, yeah. so there were different forces from around the country who uh, were going down with their dogs, and um, we had, like, this competition. Who had the best police dogs? I had the best one. We did you win? Which have the best takedowns and stuff like that. All that sort of stuff. I yeah. don't know who won, you know. No. How long have you been YouTube before? A couple of years. A couple of years. Do you enjoy it like you? Yes. Yeah. The reason I enjoy it is because I meet I meet some wonderful people. Yeah. Um, I get to travel the country. Yeah. You know, I've I've been abroad. Yeah. Is um, it is it just with the YouTubers just situations like aftermaths of this or is it just anything and anything? Anything. Anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, I filmed the police as well for me since. So, um, only when we're doing stuff wrong. Yeah, fair enough. Got good, good police are all right. I like good police. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. I've done quite a lot of filming around Merseyside. Have you? Where were you from? Where you from? Quite a lot of filming. Leeds. 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 Not too far, is it? Not too. No. Not too far. Not too far. Are you stay? Are you? Staying up in Southport then, or are you travelling back? Or yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. Um, it's a lovely place, to be fair. It's a lovely, lovely. You know place, what? Yeah. First time I've been to Southport. Is it? Mate. It is it's, lovely. It's a shame. It's a shame I've come here under circumstances yeah, yeah. of what of what's gone on. Yeah. But it is. It's my first visit. Yeah. Yeah, um, it is truly tragic. I kept saying it? Stockport at first. <laughs> oh, well. And that's because I've filmed in Stockport. Yeah. Oh, I had Stockport. Oh, that's Manchester, isn't it? Yeah. So, but oh. you, you guys had forces from Rig North Wales, I don't Lancashire. Know, I, think, I know for definite it was, I think it was Lancashire, North Wales, Cheshire, and GMP. I think. GMP. Yeah, yeah. I think. 
Yeah. Or a mutual aid. But well, Jim, they don't mess about, you know. They I wasn't here last night, so I don't know. They kick some ass. I don't know. Yeah. Because I know that GMP. I've had, I've had, I've had some run-ins with GMP. They don't oh, really? mess about them guys. Yeah. So. But now uh, that was just purely to make sure nothing goes wrong, and you know, you just want to keep the peace and people are mourning, aren't they? At the end of the day, and they're still. I don't think people last night they, were, they weren't there thinking about three children dead, no, you know. And no, of course. I mean, I was having a conversation with a uh, gentleman earlier on, local yeah. resident. He said, obviously, with all this going on last night, it, well, I mean, what the, the horrific event happened the day before, were it Monday? Yeah. I mean, I all, Monday, yeah. I mean, yeah. all this happened on Tuesday, and it's like, I, I know a few people from Stockport's been dicked, but the majority of the people from out of town, yeah. from out of city. Travelled you know, up for just negative purposes, haven't you? And, you know, yeah, but it it, it, yeah. it it sheds a bad light on, on people because I've seen things um, on Twitter. Yeah. You know, scumbag, EDL, um, getting sniffed up and going out looking for a fight. But this, this, is, from, this is from hate groups who, 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 who are painting people People like me I think in a good. bad light because of people like me. I think it's good to you here as well to see this sort of the sad stuff. Yeah. You know, it's good to have yeah, yeah. show. Because um, obviously, I think the, the media, especially, sometimes good news doesn't make good news, does it? It's the bad news that. People Listen, view mate, if you look on Sky yeah. News, right, you'll see it's negative, 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 negative. Uh, right, I'm on Sky News all the time. It, it, it's very rare you'll see something positive. Like, is this going to be mainstream media? Probably not. Probably, Probably not. not. No. And, and do you know what it is? That's, that's where people like me come in, yeah. right? To show the good people of this town what we're doing and how we're coming together. The people like me and, and these other little independent reporters and um, some of them are filming, some of them are taking pictures. Yeah. Whatever it is you want to do. Uh, but it's made a change today because I've had absolutely nobody come up and ask me why I film. I, oh. usually, I usually get that quite a lot. They, yeah. No, that's just, you're entitled to do so at the end of the day. And, you know, people want to come down. There's press here, there's, there's all sorts here, isn't there? It's, it's yeah. just a shame it's under these circumstances. I'll just have to go and do this. Good, good meeting you, buddy. Yeah, you, you too as well. So, um, seem like a nice chap. I didn't get asked for my details. Well, there's no reason for him to, but yeah. Yeah, seem like, seem like a good chap. Obviously, he's got work to do. Anyway, guys, I think that is it for me um, it's coming on five o'clock I've got a two hour drive back home uh, well it will be two hours at this time um, yeah uh, I mean I've, I've come I've, I've done everything I wanted to do I've laid the flowers um, spoke to chaplains spoke to local community members and uh, Hopefully, hopefully Sussex Street and Southport as a whole, hopefully it stays calm from now on and people can grieve uh, because they deserve to grieve. They, they shouldn't be, yeah, I appreciate people are going to be angry, but, but let's just leave it at that. Let the families grieve. Let, let the people of Southport grieve. And... Um, you know, this horrific, tragic, tragic event. You know, God bless the three little girl souls. God bless them. And it's stuff like this just shouldn't happen. It just shouldn't happen, but it does, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, the utmost respect to South Partners side. I am going to end this video. Um, you know where the like button is. Uh, drop me a comment down below, let me know um, your thoughts on what's happened. I know there's been a lot of video footage out. Um, 
please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll take one out of Wars book. My story report, I'll only ask you to do it once. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.